It was announced earlier today that The Witcher Season 3 has begun principal photography. And I am excited. We got to talk about this. Hi, everyone. This is James from Digital Charcuterie. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with us here. Please give us a like and a subscribe and a shout out and a big thank you to all of our recent subscribers. It is awesome to see and it means so much to us. Thanks again. Now, let's get right into The Witcher Season 3. This is what has been dropped from the official Witcher Twitter account as monarchs, mages, and beasts of the continent compete to capture her. Geralt takes Ciri of Sintra into hiding, determined to protect his newly reunited family against those who threaten to destroy it. Entrusted with Ciri's magical training, Yennefer leads them to the protected fortress of Artuza, where she hopes to discover more about the girl's untapped powers. Instead, they discover they've landed in a battlefield of political corruption, dark magic, and treachery. They must fight back, put everything on the line, or risk losing each other forever. And with that, they showed this one picture right here where you have the horse, you have Geralt, Ciri, and Yennefer all in their chairs as they await production. There's a nice little sea stand there and the crew working. It looks very cold. One thing, if you've watched any of the behind the scenes on Netflix, you know that every time they shoot a Witcher series episode show, it is freezing cold so this is very intriguing what they're going to be doing and I have to catch up on the I, I just started reading the books a little while ago and I've been I, I've been absolutely loving uh, the books and, and the way the show it kind of borrows from the books without telling the identical story changing it up just a bit but if you've read the books you appreciate what they're doing with it I really like that uh, I'm really terrible at the video games I, I own the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt oddly enough I own that and um, I'm so bad I'm bad I mean if it's not Mario Brothers I'm not good but let's get into this for a little bit because at the end of season 2 we saw that they, they wound up somewhere in the gates of hell and, and the wild hunt was there. The wild hunt was there to chase after Siri, and this is this is coincides with some of the stuff in the book and if you're curious about who the wild hunt are and what they were doing at the end of that episode, if you want to learn more you can read about them. They're in Time of Contempt, The Tower of Swallow, those two novels they, they are uh, they're in and then they're also mentioned in The Sword of Destiny and The Lady of the Lake and then if you, you can of course play them in the video games like I said or you can just watch The Witcher and wait for season 3 to come out. Uh, but a little bit about them, they're specters and they invade other worlds and while, while they're invading this is just like a brief summary just to keep you up to speed but while they're invading they, they get this sense of Ciri because she has the elder blood so they sense that and they wanted Ciri and then, and then Geralt and Yennefer protect her and put her in hiding and then it turns out that Ciri can actually travel through worlds and she meets another one just like her and, and there's a whole thing and that's I'm guessing that's where the series is eventually going it doesn't sound like this season is the season that's going to take us there which was my initial thought but it looks like we have to we have another hurdle to to get over before we get that far which is fine keep this show going i love this show so the longer you keep it going the better that being said i hope we do get a lot more of the wild hunt one other thing that kind of has been rumored and possibly uh, revealed by the producers a little while ago a short time ago is that they have cast or they're look they were looking to cast they might have by now uh the professor uh character which is very intriguing too this is going to add another element and when they're in this town this could add some more chaos to our trio because uh, the professor is an assassin. If you know anything about it, he might not have a long shelf life, so don't get too attached to the professor, but it could add a lot of intrigue and value to the story and some suspense and quite frankly, a lot of fun, which I really think this show excels at. Season one was fantastic. Season two, two took it to a whole new level. Henry Cavill really was like, Henry Cavill is such a driving force of this show, and it's so ha and you're so happy to see. It. And I think now you know everyone's kind of got their feet wet. And I'm talking not just talking about producers or writers or directors, showrunner. I'm talking about the cast, the cast as well. Everyone's kind of got their feet wet. They kind of have a firm place now in the lore of this world, and you, and you really felt that in season two, and it felt big, it felt ambitious, and I really enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us for season three. For now, it's all fun and games. Just this nice little picture and a little blurb on the plot synopsis. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you excited for Witcher 3? Thank you so much for watching, everyone. It really means a lot to me. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.